So in this video I'm going to talk about biometrics systems and we'll get started with the definition and how biometric systems work in general uh, step by step and then the different types of biometric systems and finally some problems associated with uh, biometric systems. So we'll get started with the definition of biometric systems and uh, biometric systems, I mean in general we can say that uh, it allows us to identify and authenticate uh, so-called a supplicant, so a supplicant. So supplicant here simply means that somebody who needs access to resources so anybody who needs to have access to uh, the resources so whether we can verify the identity of the supplicant using this uh, especially a biological means so uh, using a biological means so I would say this is really the key point. So as long as you use these biological means to verify the identity of a supplicant, we can call such a system a biometric system. So that would be a very simple definition. And I remember we discussed these uh, authentication factors when we were talking about uh, access control, so there were uh, a few of these authentication factors such as what you are, what you know, what you have, I mean these types of things. So out of those, uh, whatever is relevant to biometric uh, systems, are there actually a couple? So one is uh, what you are, because a lot of what uh, biometric systems look for uh, is coming from your body. So, for example, your eyes, uh, especially, I mean, when it comes to your eyes, iris, retina, and things like that. Another thing biometric systems focus on is what you do. So for example your voice. I mean the way you speak, the way you walk, those types of things. So what I would say what you do is another factor, authentication factor these biometric systems are looking for. And when it comes to the prospect of these biometric systems, I think it's pretty I would say promising because there are a lot of problems with these uh, password-based authentication systems and looks like these biometric systems are eventually replacing all these uh, reusable passwords uh, and eventually um, as the price goes down, I mean the prices go down, I think uh, these biometric systems become uh, feasible more and more. So uh, these reusable passwords will eventually go away and the thinking is that uh, if we have better systems in the future, these biometric systems will take over. So I guess we'll see and we are already seeing some of these uh, trend because, for example, when you get this latest iPhone, now you have a fingerprint reader built into the phone and it's much more uh, convenient and easier to use. So that is really the trend and uh, I mean we cannot really predict the future but we'll see.